Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. My name is Basilisk, I'm still your host, so let's get started. In the last episode, we um, wrapped things up here in Toe Town. In this episode, we're gonna just progress. So, let's go. And sorry it took me so- oh, right. Chapter 1. Yeah. Okay, sorry it took me so long to get this video recorded. I have been- I have not had time to record. It's been atrocious. That's hopefully something that will be wrapping up in the- That's hopefully- oh. oh, man, I didn't mean to actually skip that. I meant to show that off, actually. <laughs> that if you stay on that screen- If you stay on that screen, you will get that little, um, jingle. Okay. Now then. We want to tattle on this Koopa Troopa, new enemy. Yeah. realized I forgot something. Okay, sorry. Um, okay. And sorry, yeah, hopefully my, um, I'll have more recording time soon. Okay, and I'm also really tired today, so sorry if I sound a little out of it. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's done. Now then, we want to jump on this Goomba, because right now he's the only one who can damage us. Excellent. Done. Okay. Yeah, Koopa Troopas aren't hard. They hit harder than Goombas, and they have a defense against, like, hammers and whatnot. But once you knock them on their shells, they're completely vulnerable. There we go. Let's hit that guy. Alrighty. Um, yeah. Whew. Okay, yeah, sorry, like I said, I'm, I haven't been sleeping well lately, and it's made me tired, so, um, let's get going. Alright, there's a couple of items in chests and whatnot here. Oh, screw you, buddy, you're not hitting me. Alright. And we're actually going to... Yeah, sorry, um... I haven't actually planned out what I want, want to get done in this episode. I just realized I would have time to record today, sat down, and this is actually the fourth video I've done today, so again, I might be a little out of it. Okay, let's just grab that Dizzy Attack Badge. Woohoo! Not gonna equip it, but let me go in and explain what that does a little better, because I skipped the thing for it. Dizzy Attack, um, if you use it, it will make an enemy unable to move. It's not worth it this early on. Got a fright jar. Uh. Power block. Smack that. <laughs> yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna be. I knew I wasn't likely to be able to jump on him while he was charging me. So yeah. Besides. Ooh, sorry. There's only two of them, and I can. We can them both in one turn. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's something I need to get, actually, is, uh, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. I don't know why that suddenly propped into my mind, but suddenly it was just like, I need to get Masquer Vampire the Masquerade. <laughs> yeah, okay, so, let's focus on, uh, Paper Mario. Uh, okay, so, I've been saying that a lot this episode. Okay. Anyways, let's move on to the next area. We need to head to Koopa Village because, well, we can't get to Koopa Brothers Fortress until we get past Koopa Village. Let's jump on that switch there. That will make a bridge appear for us. <laughs> Very nice. Hey, get out of the way. There we go. And there's a spiked Goomba on that. Mother Hubbard. And they're both spiked. So, yeah, as it stands, uh, you get to do exactly nothing, Mario. Yeah, these guys hurt. Alright, now that that's, uh, not there out of the way, let's progress. And bounce on that dude's head. 
One moment. Ugh, my allergies are terrible today. I apologize, that's terrible. Let's get ourselves back up to full health. I think actually I'd missed something over here. I did not, okay. That's next, that's right here. Later on, after you beat the next area, you can come down here and get the star piece. Right now, we can't. So, yeah. Now that I've teased you with that, oh, my allergies are terrible. Oh, really? Let's deal with this guy. <sighs> this guy's gonna land a hit. And we're gonna let Gumbario finish off this Koopa Troopa. Oh, my allergies! <sighs> and we're gonna whack that Goomba. Okay. Alright, there we have an, a good old big coin block. And here's something important. This right here is... I think there's like a thing if you run around it 20 times. It gives you a thing. Let me... let's chest that really quick. I don't remember off the top of my head. But it does give out free health. Not that you need... need free health with the... Uh, toad houses being free. Let's just... Uh, um, There's a honey syrup behind that guy. Um, we're gonna ditch the sleepy sheep. It's not an item I ever use, except I think the bait. Uh. Let's whack that, and that, and that. And that will make an item appear, and that's a of an item box appear, and that's a free attack FXB badge. Um, what the attack FX badges do is they're free and they change the sound effects of your attacks. I never use them. No, I can't. We're all zoomed in. Fuzzies! Ugh. Now then, fuzzies. <laughs> As you can see, they have a bit of a fuzzy problem. We can help them out, smack it, smack the fuzzy, and then we'll return the shell. <laughs> Ugh, please, fuzzies, don't steal their overalls. But yeah, um, you don't actually get anything for helping them get the shells back, but it's nice to do, and Mario is a hero. Let's talk to everybody. You have more than one? Anyways, there you go, buddy. Look like any other Koopa Troopa to me, but dude. Alright, let's pop in here. Very fast. Alright, now this one is the hardest to get. I think it will eventually... Like, I think if you stand still, it will jump in front of you. So we're gonna try that. Yeah, 
This one's just difficult to catch. Chase it up around a bit more and see if we can't if you can't lure it up here for us. Dash attack helps a bit here. There we go. Or the spin dash thing helps a bit. Okay, sorry I was quiet for that. I was actually trying to think of how best to get it. Um, now that one, I really wish you got something for these. Here's a neat little block puzzle for you. This guy padlocked this freaking shell. There he goes, smooth moves. Okay, seriously, these guys just have more than one shell? Oop, too far. I do like the little animations they gave Mario for pushing that block around. But there we go. Dude gets his shell back. <laughs> Alright, now that we've saved everybody's shell, let's go bug let's go head to this house where it seems like there's a disaster going on. Hello, dude. So, yeah, we'll help you out, buddy. York? Get out of here, honky. Alright, we gotta chase that dude down. Into Cooper's backyard, which is needlessly big. And no, you can't do anything to those guys in the background. Except for this one that chases you down. This is the perfect opportunity to tattle on Fuzzy before we get into the next step, before we get into a real fight with one. Fuzzies are kind of annoying, because they can drain HP from you. And the timing is awkward as all get out. See? Unfortunately, they don't actually have that much HP. They go down pretty quickly. Oh, well, I'm partner. Just trying to do the hammer, um, uh, thing, but. Mm. Okay, they're down. Now, we can't come back here. You'll see over there that there's a badge that we can't quite jump to. Don't worry, we'll be able to get that soon. Alright, chase this dude Come here, you! And we get a mini-game. Now, remember those, uh, you know those games where they put the thing under the cup and then move it about really fast? This is basically that. So, excuse me if I'm quiet while I try to figure out where this guy, where I keep an eye on this guy. He's on the far left, right there. Thunk. Get out of here, you. And he speeds up each time. Second from the left. He's in the far right again. I can't hit the tree. There we go. Dunk it. <laughs> now, uh, for some reason, you can't search this bush. And I always felt like you should be able to. Anyways, we got this dude. Uh, Cooper's here. Here 
There you go, buddy. Now go get eaten by a Yoshi Silken. Yoshi Silken fly. Actually, no. We don't actually. There are Yoshis in this game, but they aren't there. They're only in one area that we can't get to for a long time. No. I don't know, Professor Colorado. Thank you. Oh, my nose is just... Yeah, come on. We're gonna bring him along. And we got a new party member. Press down to make Cooper... Or down C to make Cooper launch... Throw himself. That's how we reach items that we can't jump to. And here we go. Okay, now, Cooper, his quick time events work exactly the same as the hammer one, so we're gonna use this to do damage to everybody. It costs 3 FP though, so unless you upgraded your uh, points at some point, your flower points at some point, you can only use it once until you level up. Oh, my allergies are terrible right now. Okay. But yeah, we took out one on the first turn, we'll take out another two this turn. Alright, only one left. Oh, and they're worth three uh, experience each, so this will get us up to 78, I believe. Okay. Get out of here. Alright, now we want to head this way. Now Cooper's joined the party and we can now head to Cooper Brothers Fortress, but there's one thing we want to do before we head that way. Come up here. Oh, I said, um, if I can remember how to play this game. <laughs> we got an HP Plus badge. <clears throat> now, HP Plus, as you can see, costs three badge points. So we're going to unequip Power Jump a Close Call and equip HP Plus. To give us 90 HP. And we'll roll two still. <laughs> 90 HP. What am I on about? Max HP is only like 50. Okay, so 20 HP. And let's head back into the main part of town here. And I'm gonna end this episode off here. Um, sorry if it's short, I'm not feeling my best here, and I don't want to continue going on in this kind of lackluster state I've got. So in the next episode, we'll head on, we'll make our way to Cooper Brothers Fortress, and it'll be a hoot! In the meantime, everybody, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good night, folks.